Myrtillocactus geometrizans Fukurokuru yozi and boku. That is a very long name. Otherwise known as titty cactus or booby cactus. I think you have to have a good sense of humor for this particular cacti and this cacti pot that I have it planted in. And uh, I picked this one up about two years ago when I started getting a little bit more into funky cacti. And I also just saw these in Singapore and this is a Japanese cultivar. And of course it gets its name because it looks like some saggy boobies. And uh, this, is, this is a fun cactus. I mean, people, if they stop at my windowsill and they actually see this, they always, of course, point it out. And I have these in my southwest facing window and that means it gets a lot of intense light. And I have been somewhat withholding water over the winter. I started to notice it started to pucker a little bit over the winter months. And typically I withhold water over the winter months. However, I watered fairly infrequently over the winter, largely because of the puckering. And I think it's just because we had some really sunny days in winter and it got a little bit dehydrated. So you could see that there might be one or two little puckerings around here, but it's pretty much uh, looking fairly good, I would say. And when the spring, summer and fall comes around, I'm watering this probably once a week. And on the fertilizing side of things, I fertilize on a monthly basis and you could use something that's like a 247 or a 347. You could probably find a cacti fertilizer out there. And, uh, and usually they're a little bit low in the nitrogen, a little bit higher in the phosphorus and the potassium. But anyway, this has been a really fun cacti to grow for obvious reasons. Um, I think originally these are from Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, and again, I think the, one of the uh, Japanese uh, plants people out there actually found or discovered this type of variety of cactus. So I think you can only get this kind of cactus if you actually grow it from cuttings as opposed to seed. I don't think if, you, if this goes to seed, if you plant it, I don't know if it will look like a booby cactus, but um, I've never grown it from, from seed, so I don't actually know. So somebody who's maybe a little bit more familiar with this cactus might be able to share their information. As far as pests go, I have not had any kind of pest pressures whatsoever with this plant after having it for a couple years. And I'm looking forward to actually seeing how it expands because I could start to see now that it's some, some little new ones are starting at the top. And I can see that there's a little reddening around the areoles because I, uh, I think that it's just being exposed a little bit more to light as the sun starts to get a little bit more intense in the warmer season.